this is this is a little traveling irrigator that I made. Uh, it runs off a one inch diameter internal diameter hose at the back, uh, and these these pipes are here a half inch, and then it's reduced down at the end here uh, to give it some some force and some direction. But to back up a bit, I made this from all sorts of stuff I got from the the local rubbish dump. These, the wheels here are from a golf buggy and just to this angle iron here was off an old packing crate and then just some scrap steel here to give it some some strength in the bracing. Uh, this is the main gearbox here this is a, a worm drive uh, gearbox off a, off a little handheld uh, cultivator. Uh, it was actually a Ryobi that, uh, that I found so I just took the the gearbox off it and that has a 40, one, 40 to 1 reduction in it uh, and then I put a shaft at, well the shaft comes out of the top and then I got two gears they're out of a Briggs and Stratton a little Briggs and Stratton engine that's the camshaft gear and that's the crankshaft gear and I put the drilled the drilled the center out of the crankshaft gear and fitted the pipe through the middle of it and then put the camshaft gear on the end of the shaft of the of the gear reduction here so that takes it down two more so this so it all becomes now an 80, 80 to 1 reduction this this piece here is just the stand off a, off a, an, an irrigator that does that I'm not sure what you, a sprinkler type thing off a one inch sprinkler and that that spins around in there and I'll take off the drum the the central drum here is just the hub off a wheelbarrow and I had to make some uh, some way of containing the, the rope in the center so I just got some plastic and put it on the inside and then put some little screws around there to make it a little bit bigger to carry 80 meters of, uh, of rope. Uh, this just pulls out of here that's just a little a little pin to hold it onto the onto the shaft because when you when I take it off it'll become more obvious of what it was uh, this originally had two cutting discs on it, uh, two little cultivator uh, discs, so you, you held onto the, the handle and these tilled the ground. So I got rid of those and just made that to fit this. This is the hub out of a, the back wheel of a push bike and it only turns in one direction. Uh, as, as, as you can see here, this is the, the chain sprocket of a, of a push bike, re rear hub of a push bike and it's just got a uh, one directional rotation here so that just fits back on the top of there you put the pin in and when this is turning around that drives and uh, and pulls the irrigator along the reason you need to be able to take the drum off is because when you're repositioning when, when the irrigator has pulled itself all the way down to the peg down the back there you'll have to run it back out again and reposition the irrigator so it can start again and to do and it can only go in one direction so you need to take it off and I've just made a little peg here and it sits on top of that and then you just pull the irrigator backwards as far as you want it that'll unwind the uh, that, that, that will unwind the cable you take when you've run it out as far as you want you just lift it back up put it back on the drive and put the, the pin and clevis pin back in there you put the drum back on and it's ready to go so and the whole setup runs off the firefighting pump that is just down there next to the tank that's a just a standard firefighting pump and it runs the water comes out of the concrete tank through a one and a half inch pipe and then it's reduced down again to this one inch hose here that screws onto the bottom of the fitting and that's it.